Persinia. A distress signal is sent from the surface, a small colony called Evergreen. You soon realized something was going on beneath the surface, something big is about to happen. You no longer could stand by and watch, the time for action is now. Humanity has been given a second chance to fix what was wrong, do not waste it, and show the galaxy why you are called Lancer. Hello viewers and welcome to a new episode of Trash Talk on Lancer, no room for a wallflower edition, where I talk stuff about mech. In this episode, let's introduce two of the all frames at once, Sagarmatha, and Swallowtail, Ranger variant. Sagarmatha is basically Nepali name for the Everest, meaning the head in the great blue sky. Well, that's a rather short story, so I might as well talk about why the name Everest came to be. In 1849, a British survey is trying to figure out a name for the mountain, they wanted to go for local names, except literally every single ethnic there has their own name for the mountain. So, Andrew Waugh, or rather, Andrew Waugh, <coughs> the British Surveyor General of India, decided to just name the mountain after the previous Surveyor General, George Everest, who basically said, no! arguing that none of the local could even speak or write the name. Nevertheless, the name got chosen, and that's how Mount Everest is named, Everest. When in doubt, blame the British. Now, let's take a look at its stat, Sagarmatha is a big boy with one armor, has decent health and repair cap, both its evasion and e-defense are basically average, but it's decently quick though, and while its sensor range and systems points are basically average, it has a rather high heat cap. As for its traits, it has three of them. First, Guardian, allows nearby allies to use Sagarmatha as hard cover. Second, Heroism, for once per scene, Sagarmatha can brace without losing any action or movement on its following turn, however, the limit on reactions still apply, so you can't perform any on the next turn. And finally, replaceable parts, Sagarmatha can repair its structure with one repair each instead of two. Basically, Sagarmatha is a more defensive and support based Everest that's much much tougher. Onto its weapon mounts, it has three, one main, one flex, and one heavy. As for its core power, Sagarmatha can perform rallying cry by raising its banner. It is what it said, you literally raise a banner with a quick action, this immediately gives all allies within your line of sight resistance to all damage and heat and plus one accuracy on all checks and save until the end of your next turn. Basically, it's in your best interest to have your turn being the first in this round and last on the next round, because that will effectively make your teammates damn near invincible for two rounds. To sum up Sagarmatha as a whole, it really is a more defensive support based Everest, it's bigger, it's tougher, and its core power is just a very direct and very powerful support core power that benefits everyone. You will probably see brace systems in a whole new perspective with this mech if you haven't already, which will turn this mech into quite an enduring mountain it's named after. Now, as for the Swallowtail, Ranger variant, as its name implied, it's a modified version of the Swallowtail used by the Hersinia United Cities, these Swallowtail aren't like the modern one most people know, they are the leftover from early abandoned SSC survey expeditions of the planet before everything went to hell. Now, these machines serve the United Cities, each has been repaired and modified by each of their owners for two whole generations, and each has a story of its own to tell. What's Hersinia United Cities? Read the book. Anyway, let's take a look at its stats. Ranger Swallowtail is the same size as its successor, has a rather low health too, though it has a high repair cap. It's still very evasive and speedy, and has a massive sensor range. Its e-defense and systems point are just average though, but it can hack very well. Its heat cap leaves something for desire however. As for its traits, it has three of them. First, Scout Battlefield, before any combat or deployment begins, you can place two of the following objects on free space anywhere on the battlefield. First, a 2x2 two two zone that doesn't impede movement and grant soft cover to characters partially within it. Second, a 2x2 two two difficult terrain zone, and third, a size 1 piece of hard cover. These objects can't be placed within 4 spaces of each other, and same option could be chosen more than once. These objects represent natural occurring terrain on the battlefield, talk to your GM to determine what they are. Second, invigorating scanners, for once per round when Ranger Swallowtail inflicts lock on, an allied character within line of sight and sensors can move up to their speed as a reaction. And finally, weathering, Ranger Swallowtail ignores difficult terrain, which renders bulwark mods useless to it. 
All these traits make Ranger Swallowtail quite a guerrilla fighter that knows the terrain like the back of its feet, and could quickly mobilize its ally for a frontal attack. Onto its weapon mounts, it has two, one flex and one main. As for its core passive, Ranger Swallowtail has grounded, which when you end your turn in a zone, keyword, zone, that grants soft cover, you become invisible until you leave that cover, attack, force a save, or take any other hostile action that affects another character. This by the way includes any forms of hostile action, so if you even think it could be, it counts as well. But basically, with this core passive, you have become one sneaky snake that can seemingly appear out of nowhere. As for its core power, Ranger Swallowtail can activate Gaia Inheritance for Guerrilla Warfare. Upon activation as a protocol, you create three burst one patches of smoke in spaces within your line of sight and range 5, these smoke can provide soft cover to character partially within them and last until the end of the scene. Also, for the rest of the scene, your allied characters within sensors also gain the benefits of grounded, making everyone very sneaky. To sum up Ranger Swallowtail, this Swallowtail is merely taking a different method than its successor in doing almost the same thing. Where Swallowtail is more on targeting the weak point of the target and pinpoint their attack so its allies could dodge their attack, Swallowtail Ranger variant is more on hiding and moving everyone fast so they could strike hard before nobody could even notice. Its traits alone can provide plenty of cover and mobility to its allies, and its core power makes finding anyone an extremely difficult task. Heck, since you will turn invisible at the end of your turn as long as you are in a zone of soft cover, you can do whatever you want on your turn and turn back invisible at the end of it which will make you very safe from both physical and electronic attacks. Also, since both of these are alt frames, they can perfectly use the rest of the arsenal that came from the same license. Sagarmatha is an alternative of Everest, which can be taken right at the very start of a campaign, while Swallowtail Ranger variant is an alternative of Swallowtail, allowing it to have the rest of Swallowtail license. Anyway, that's all on both of these amazing matches, and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.